Hi everyone, so I just found something really cool. So I will just share my thought process with you because I see so many people just don't know how to learn, how to improve, how to came, come up with ideas and stuff, right? So look, I was just yeah, checking here out on Pinterest, right? Uh, something for a tutorial. And I found this guy here, so what's his name? Adam Taylor. And he has the sci-fi panels modular thing, right? And that's so cool that he sketched them first himself out. And you see, like, honestly, I'm also doing that sometimes in the evening, not panels, but just sketching something around. And this is not so hard, you know, it's just some symmetrical patterns, which you can with iPad and even the symmetry and Procreate um, function. And you just sketch something like that out, right? So I will use now his, but you can also use your own because then you can create this kind of modular stuff, you know, and it doesn't make sense at all, but it just looks cool. It's, it's a very meditative um, state of, of modeling and with time you can build, I don't know, 10 pieces and then sell them or use them on your own or create your own kit bash pack or something. And by the way, if you are doing concept art and you like sci-fi, I just created my first sci-fi kit bash pack. It has literally 1,500 parts, 120 unique objects. So everything what I've created throughout the last year. So here you see the collection. Everything is inside and you have structures. So sci-fi corridors, laboratories, all of those parts are modular. So you can create your own sci-fi corridors and environments. Then you have frames, you have different props. You have cables, you have sci-fi buildings. Man, there's so much stuff inside and you can build so crazy stuff. And here, for example, four assembled pieces. So you can build like guns, turrets, sci-fi stuff, robotic stuff, cyborg stuff. So really crazy. Everything in one pack. So below this video, you can buy this kit bash pack along with my new course where you will also learn how you can create this kind of your own sci-fi designs. But yeah, check out first link in the description. But yeah, let's go back here to, to what I was talking, what we will do today. And you can just take some sketches from someone or create your own. And okay, let's basically do exactly what I would do. So I would just create a screenshot, right? From this piece here. And I would go to plasticity, go to the top view, and I would just import a pen that image. And by the way, guys, why those images are loading so so yeah, you have something like that, and now with G, just bring it into the middle, right? And Press G, bring this down and press M front, make it opaque and click on the lock. So you're not selecting that. And that's basically it. And now you can just start to create that. And of course, just in this tutorial, it will be super simple just to show you um, the workflow. But you will start off by creating a corner rectangle from the middle and press C and do something like that. So first of all, let me select that reference image and just bring it a little bit more to the middle and scale this a little bit and also press on M and just make it even less opaque. So that's cool. And yeah, we are almost done because now you can just select this face and press tab and just give it here some thickness. And now we want here from the side some openings, right? So I uh, like, uh, this is really cool designs, guys. It's so much detail and I just love when it's so complicated and all of those frames and it's just fun. So just watch this tutorial, buy my course if you want. And after the course, you literally can, can do that completely on your own and you don't have to watch like hundreds of random tutorials anymore. But before we do that, we will um, yeah, create a new rectangle again to the middle, press C and let's give it here. So we need the inside, right? And now, so I, it, you have to work symmetrical, but I will just do so it's just quicker, but create a line and just go from here to here to here and always snap to the curve, right? Because we can then trim that in a second 
and alt x and bring to the other side so it's on the right and the same here but it goes inside so something like that and again make it symmetrical but just for the sake of the quick video again alt x bring to this here and now select this rectangle press b for chamfer and give it here a little chamfer and now press t here trim command the scissors and just trim that everything away here right click alt click with edge mode and join so you have just this nice cool uh, shape press c cut into the main body hide the curve and delete this piece awesome because now we can go again to the front view and just create a new shape so again maybe start with the rectangle press c and you just go to somewhere here and now just yeah be a little bit creative have some fun so create oops so create yeah, a shape like that so again it's not symmetrical i i know guys and select this shape and alt x and bring to the other side and t again and just trim and again alt click and j and now bam we cut into that and press c okay that's different other way around so just cut this away cut this away you see and now you can also if you want do the same on the right so just let me do it like super quick just a super boring rectangle and you know and this is the way how you can add all of those uh, stuff and now to add this brighter piece we can do something different so maybe first of all i just want to bring those inside faces a little bit more up and the same for the lower pieces here and now again top view and again corner rectangle around the middle press c and just yeah snap a little bit here in the inside and now we can hide this main body and now comes the fun part so now you can with shift a just create this whole shapes and again spend much more time and work symmetrical not what i'm doing here but i just want to show it to you again so mirror that select both of those pieces mirror them again and let's create one in the middle and guys absolutely so guys stop or just watch the tutorial and then do it on your own but something like that and now also on the outside so let's trim here a little bit stuff away and so press t and yeah bring those curves with g with control click to this curve and yeah i really like this and press T and just trim everything what, what we don't need. Cool, because now you see if you press V, you can just select this face and press Alt H to bring this other guy back. And if you just extrude this a little bit and Alt click all of those curves, first of all, hide them. But now you can select this inner piece here and go down and just bring it below this main body and if you press again alt x and bring it to the other side but this second on the bottom you can bring a little bit to the top then you see you have this kind of stuff but of course you have to adjust it so i don't know how exact you want to to work and of course you have to add everywhere fillets and also you can add then yeah even more details here 
and even cables or something to the inside. So it's literally, again, it can go into the infinity when it comes to creativity and then you can create six different and then you can, and then you have like a modular sci-fi environment uh, set created for your own, right? So you don't have to buy and you can create your own sets. And again, if you want to learn everything in a much more step-by-step -step way, in a much smaller, much more in depth, check out my new course, we will create this whole environment, also sci-fi assets that you can again reuse in your own projects. So you don't have to model them all the time. As well as the sci-fi kit bash pack is included in some of the bundles. So check out first link below this video. If you like sci-fi, this would be the best investment that you can do in your plasticity journey. So leave a like and subscribe this video so you don't miss the other ones. And I hope I can see you in there. Bye.